Hello everyone. We're going to get started in just a moment, but I want to do a brief introduction. Uh, so let me share my screen with you first and go over a little bit of information that I think you should know. Uh, let's see if I can get my screen sharing working. And there we go. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is John Eric. John Eric, Verbling Teacher. I'm from New York and I'm hanging out today from Lisbon, Portugal. And I want to start off by telling you two things. First, class rules. Three class rules. Turn off, tune in, and open up. Turn off means turn off your microphone, keep it off until you speak, because there's a lot of noise in the classroom if you don't. Even if you can't hear it, we can. So please close the verbling window when the Google Hangout starts or just turn off the sound. In fact, it's better just to close it when you're in the Google Hangout. Otherwise, everyone will hear an echo of their voice. Rule number two, tune in. Tune in to new words. That means pay attention. Tune in and activate what you learned from the beginning of class by using it proactively at the end of class or when we do our free speaking activities. And the last rule, rule number three, is open up. Open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn, so it's a safe, respectful environment. Uh, and I want to say something else as well, which is uh, if you're a premium member, you can get into class and have a little more teacher time. Uh, so in the first two minutes, if you're a premium member, what you can do is, uh, well, let me start by saying, you can test out. You can test whether or not you want to be a premium member. Just go to Get Reservations, and I'll put the link for you there in just a moment. And then you have various ways to get reservations and to test or to try being a premium member. For example, invite some friends. Um, connect with Facebook. There's, there's different options for you there. Uh, so I'm going to put that link for you in the chat window. And then I'm going to say hello to some people who I haven't talked to before. And if you can't see that in the chat window, I will also put the link there in the Google chat so you can see it in both, both places. OK. So let's get started. Um, I want to say hello to some new faces. I see lots of people here. That's great. And I see a few old faces as well. So, let's do a quick hello to Ehla. Hello, Ehla. Hi, John Eric. How are you? Hi. Can you hear me okay? Because today yeah. I, I, I can't hear myself for some reason. Sounds Not good? Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Excellent. Tell everyone where you're hanging out from. Yeah, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Okay. Excellent. And what's the weather like? <laughs> Well, Don't say hot. It's, no, no, no. It's the beginning. We started spring last Wednesday, and it's been raining for over four days. So the weather is really fantastic. Okay, excellent. So it doesn't rain too much, does it? No. Uh, the last time, I think, before Was maybe four months. Like oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No. Okay. And we're going to say hello to one of your one of your peers. Remember Bruno? Remember Whoa. Bruno Echa? Hello, Bruno, the man yeah. from Alverca. Yeah. Alverca in the house. Uh, everything's good. How about you? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Hanging out today. And uh, um, just tell everyone a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to go through, because I've got some new faces, and we don't all know each other. Uh. What do we need to know about Bruno? Besides the fact that he's uh, a top rank A number one dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm already everyone. I'm I'm from Portugal. I'm Bruno, and I'm um, 22 years old, and I've been learning English for for over um, three years now. And I guess and that's there all. you go. Yeah. <laughs> and you're you're pretty good at it too. Well, thank you. But you're here to get better. Uh, and remember Hazel. I remember Hazel from the other day. 
Let's say yeah. a quick hello to Hazel. Yes, hello. Hazel, I like hello. your picture. It's very, it's, <laughs> I hope you look better than your picture. <laughs> okay. Let, let me see if I can get you on screen. There you go. I like what you did with your hair. It's different. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hazel, where are you hanging out from today in the world? Where uh, are you? Uh, I am from Romania, as always. <laughs> as always. All oh, right. Okay. Now I remember our conversation. Yes. Uh, chip, 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 chip. What was the name of the drink? Chip, pick, uh, palinka. Chip, palinka. Pal palinka. 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 Okay. Yes. And I remember you wanted to say Tsuika, I think, because it's Tsuika, another, yeah, that was it. This yeah. is another uh, brandy, <laughs> Romanian brandy. Yeah, I was just saying that I, I knew some people that had lived in Transylvania, and they talked yes. about interesting, interesting spirits from, yes. uh, from Transylvania. <laughs> spirits, not like Dracula spirits I and ghosts, but understand. things to drink. <laughs> yes. Tsuika. 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 Yes. Plum, plum brandy. Exactly. Excellent. So bring some to class next time, okay? Okay, sure. And share it with us. We'll download it and we'll all try it out. Okay. Uh, I will. I will okay. Email. Let's say. Excellent. Email me some. Make sure you zip it first, otherwise it will never be sent through. Google will stop it. Uh, okay. A few quick clothes to people I don't know. Hang on a second. Let's see who is first here. Do I know anyone else? Uh, okay, let's start with. Oh, I think I know you, Andrew. I remember you. Yeah. Hi, Andrew. Let me see if I can fun. click Just on your fun. link. Let me get your face on the screen here. There we go. Where are you hanging out from today, Andrew? Oh, that's not you. Wait, let's yeah. get you on screen. I'm connecting I'm to click on you from Russia. I'm trying to click on you, but I can't get you on screen for some reason. Hold on. Give me just. There you go. Tell us about Andrew. Sorry. Tell us something about you, Andrew. Tell us how about, you are. I'm just fine. Just fine. Thank you for asking. Yeah. <laughs> how are you doing? We Don't care. I... I'm all right. It's Sunday. Uh, it's the new week. Yeah. It's the first day of the rest of my life. You know. <laughs> These are the things yeah. that go through my my mind on Sundays. Things like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's say a quick hello to. Um, okay, it's uh, best. Best. How do you say your name? Best Miles. Yeah, it's best Miles. Um, mm -hmm. So, is that is that is that your real name? No, it's not real. Yeah. Let's just do some <laughs> to make an account. What what should we call you? Best Miles. Like best Miles. Okay, we'll call you that. Excellent. Okay. Mr. Best Miles, make sure you turn off the sound in the verbling window, okay? Because I can hear my voice. So I think that's coming from you. I'm not sure. But if it is, make sure you either close the verbling window when you're in Google, the Hangout, or just turn off the sound. Uh, and where are you today in the world? Where are you hanging out from? I'm from Ecuador. You're from Ecuador. And how is life in Ecuador today? Yes. Good Sunday in Ecuador. Could you repeat the question? How is life in Ecuador today on the 24th of March? Life is good for now. Good. I'm, I don't complain about life. I'm good. <laughs> Not I don't complain. I can't complain. I can't complain. Okay. okay. Um, and we're going to say a few more hellos and we're going to get started. Hello, uh, Eric. Hello. Who's, who's talking to me? Uh, if, uh, hello, Eric. Nice to meet you. Ah, okay. Hey, there you go. Let me get uh, you on screen. Hi from Istanbul, you know. Excellent. Right, let me see if I can get you on screen. Efe. There you go. Yeah, nice to meet you again, you know. Uh, I'm talking from Istanbul. I say hi, everybody from Istanbul. And uh, where are you in Istanbul? I mean, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Where where are you broadcasting from? Because I can see a white wall. Are you in? Tell me about where you live in a sentence or two. Yeah, yeah, I'm at home. Okay. And do you live in a house or a flat? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm living in an apartment. 
an apartment. An apartment or flat, F.A. Apartment flat. or flat. Flat is more British, but Americans okay. can say it as well. And let's say a quick hello. We've got three more hellos. Let's say, oh, Minnie, I remember you. Hi, Minnie. Hi. How are you? Excellent. And uh, tell us about the picture. Is that where you live? No. Minnie? No, this ah. picture, I took this picture uh, to Montreal. I went to visit Montreal last summer, and this is the one of the, it's called Botanic Gardens. Ah, uh, the Botanic Gardens. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. I think this is the Japanese garden. I would say so. It's got little pagodas in the background. The, yeah. The roofs that, that go up. Sounds like it. Uh, and tell me, uh, do you live in a, an apartment or a house or a flat? Tell me about where uh, you live. I live in, uh, in a condo. In a condo? Okay. Yeah. In a condo. So we've got apartments, houses, flats, condos so far. Let's see what other kinds. I think today we're talking about homes, right? So we gotta, we're going to describe uh, homes. Yes, okay. I'm not confused. I was just wondering, wait a second, did I have the wrong class? So we're going to generate some different words to talk about types of homes, uh, but also uh, uh, how to describe the home, what's inside as well. Uh, quick hello to, uh, is it Orzan or Orhan? How do you say your name? Is it Orzan Ham Hamid Hamidli? I don't know how to say that. Okay. Hello. How do I say your name? Orhan Hamidli. Oh, I can barely hear you. Is it Orzan, is that right? Do you hear me? Uh, not so well, more or less. <laughs> Say your name for me once, really clearly. I think he's plugging back in. By the way, I'm getting a lot of echo, so someone has the verbling window open. So please close the verbling window. The moment you come into the Google Hangout, that way we're not going to hear any, uh, any background noise. OK, and a quick hello to Wal Walabi. Am I saying your name right, Walabi? Hello. Hi, Walabi. Where are you from? Oh, um, this is not just my nickname. My name is Adanalı. Uh, say that a little slowly. A little more Ad slowly. Adanalı. Adanalı. Yes. Adanalı. Yes, my name Adanala. is Adanalı. Adanalı. Yes. Got it. Uh, Where are you from? First time I want to say hi, my friends Fatih and Mert, because we are coming here. We are coming here together, and for you. Excellent. <laughs> Tell me about the space that you're in right now. Is that your room? Yeah. Do you live in a house, an apartment, no, a flat, or a condo? No, apartment. But apartment not comfort, uh, comfortable. Then house. Because there are living a lot of people. You can speak with each other. So, so you think that living in an apartment is more comfortable than a house? Is that right? No, house. More a house. Apartment. A house is more comfortable than an apartment. I, I might be inclined to agree with you. <laughs> let's let's take a look at. Uh, by the way, let me just ask you a question, Mister. Um, I forgot how to say your name. Uh, write it for me too. I want to I want to read it, so that I can. But. So, so Adanala, do you have do you the verb the window open? Because I'm getting a lot of echo. I don't know if it's coming from you or someone else. Make sure that the verb window is closed. Okay? Yes. So, is it closed? No. We'll close the verb window so that we can use the Google Hangout without getting echo. Okay? Okay. All right. Make sure you do that. I'm going to mute you temporarily. Temporarily, and you can turn your microphone back on when uh, when you're speaking. Okay? okay, so temporarily you're going to be muted. Okay, yeah, I think it's definitely coming from his side. All right, so everyone, I want you to take a look at the. Um, let me share my screen. You're going to take a look at the PDF that I uploaded for you. First, I'm going to share my screen and go to how to describe your home. So this is the. You can see, let me make sure you can see it on the screen. Hold on. John, my okay. verbal link chat doesn't work. Can you 
Santa uh, link and other chat box also. Hang on a second, yes. Uh, I'll post it for you. So if you need it in the Google chat window, it is right. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, it's there. And if you're in the Verbling chat window, it is Thanks. here. Okay, so let's get started. How to describe your home. We want to talk about the type of home, what's inside of it, and we want to talk about style. And in the end, you're going to have a chance to give us uh, a tour of your real home or an imaginary one, one that you'd like to live in. By the way, I'm still hearing my voice from somebody. I don't know who it is. So I'm going to ask you, please, please, to close the verbling window when you're in the Google Hangout, okay? Because I'm getting lots of noise. I'm hearing my voice. Okay, so let's get started here. First of all, in our second page, in this lesson, you will learn about furniture, decoration, and style to describe your home. What furniture do you have in your house? What furniture do you have in your house? So first of all, let's talk about where you're living right now. Maybe, Echla, you could start. Tell us a little bit about the house or the room that you're in. What's in there? Okay. Um, my house, or it's a family house. We built this house 10 years ago. It's um, more big house because families here get to live together, almost together in the same house. It consists of three floors. You would say it has, so it has three floors, not consists of, but it has three floors. It has okay. three floors and uh, lots of lots of rooms. Um, and lots of what? In the front. Lots of rooms? Yep. Okay, great. And what kind um, of furniture do you have in your room? In my room, it's more a modern style. Actually, it's a Turkish style room. I love the Turkish style, and um, uh, it's not that simple. But it's more even the colors here. They are much more. Uh, maybe can I say that? Um, uh, I forgot the word in English. Um, maybe relaxing. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we say that the colors are mute or not muted, um, muted, muted, yeah, exactly. muted. So, yeah. in other words, the kind of we could say kind of the opposite of bright is muted colors. Exactly. Yeah, the opposite of colors. bright. Mm -hmm. Okay, muted. excellent. And uh, and Bruno, how does how does her room how does it how does it compare to where you are? Talk Sorry. a little bit about why Sorry. don't you compare mm -hmm. Echla's description of her room and her furniture to your room and your furniture. So remember, what did she say about her room? The colors are what? The colors are. You there, Bruno? Of course, I'm here. I'm like, couldn't hear you. Ah, okay. Yeah. I How is know. it's your room? The same or different than Ethla's room. She says the colors are muted, mm -hmm. and she has a, a room. A, a room or a house is big with many rooms, mm -hmm. and she also said that it's in the Turkish style. I don't know what the Turkish style is, but we're going to find out yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tell me about your room. What's okay. it like? Uh, um, it is a small room. And it has uh, um, drawers. It has drawers. Yeah, and it has it has a bed. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Sounds um, like my room. <laughs> um, he has a uh, um table lamp. I don't know if, if um that is. The right word. Table lamp. What, what? Table yeah. lamp. Yeah. Yeah. Table lamp. Yeah. So that means you have a table too. Yeah. A table. 
Okay, so I have, uh, if you put that together, you could say something like this. I have a, I have a small bedroom mm -hmm. with a bed and probably an end table or, or, or a bedside table and a table lamp. Mm -hmm. Right? Anything else? Do you have books? Um, sorry, Eric. Uh, um, it is an, uh, it is an uh, uh, a apartment. Hello. A flat. Sorry, I have to just. Uh, whoever was talking, I have to mute you temporarily because Bruno is talking right now. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, and you were saying, Bruno, finishing up? I was saying that I live in, a, in an apartment. Okay, in an apartment. Yeah. Okay, so right now we've already got some good, we've already got some good descriptive words here, uh, we're talking about furniture, and notice. I'm sorry, I'm really getting a lot of feedback, so I'm going to have to ask everyone to stay muted. So I'm going to mute you, Mr. Pitts. I think it is. I can't see your name. I'm going to mute you temporarily, just because I'm getting lots of feedback. Make sure you turn off the sound in the Verbling window the moment you come into the Google Hangout or else we're going to get lots of echo. Okay, so you can describe the, your space by saying I, I have a small room or I have a big room or I have a small house or I have a flat with and then you can use your, your talk about your furniture with a bed, uh, with a bed, an end table, a table lamp and then you can also talk about the style. It has muted colors all of these things together, let's go with, uh, where is, where is uh, Hazel? She disappeared. Are you there, Hazel? I'm here. I didn't disappear. Ah, okay. Uh, so all of these things together are called the decor. The decor. You can see the word there in the, in the chat window, the decor. Yes. So what's yes. the decor like? Tell us about the furniture or the decor where you live. Um, well, I live in a small apartment, small flat, with one bedroom and a living room with a kitchen and a bathroom. Uh, the decor in my apartment, in uh, my bedroom there is a bed, of course, a lamp, um, I don't know, I have um, some shelves with a lot of books. Um, so bookshelves, bookshelves, book bookshelf, yes, and um, drawer. Bookshelves and drawers. drawers. Excellent. Um, so I think uh, this is for my bedroom, and in my um, living room I have a sofa with two armchairs and uh, a table and. Um, some chairs, and of mm -hmm. course the kitchen with uh, all the um, kitchen you um, furniture. All the all the all the amenities. This is a good word for you. Amenities. And a second, and if you can see that in the chat window, I can't write in both chat windows at the same time. But listen, I, later on, I, I will put all of the vocabulary on my Facebook page, so you're not going to lose it. So you have a kitchen with all the amenities, all the special things that you would find in a kitchen. Yes, amenities. amenities. All the amenities. Excellent. Okay. So I want to I want to move forward and start to to work on our descriptive powers. So we're now here, and I need to again mute. Yes, thank you for muting him <laughs> because I'm just <laughs> hearing my voice. Okay, so we're on the third page now. How to describe your home? What do these places have in common and how are they different? Yeah, I'm sorry, I need to. Um, Mr. I don't know how to say your name, but it's Mr. T R N J. Tinge? Is that right? Tinge? Yes, you. Tell you, yeah. Okay, you got to turn off the verbling window because I'm just yeah. hearing my voice. Yeah. So is it off? Yeah, it's off at the moment. Hmm. But I'm not sure where I'm getting the echo from. Okay. Well, I don't know, but uh, there is some problem about the echo in the room at the moment because he's trying to talk in something 
Nafti, okay. and if you will be care about Diego, um, that will be really good because no one can care about the lesson. Mm. Yes, yes, but I can't do anything about him now. I have to report him after the class. There's no yeah. way I can do anything right now because he's not but, in the class. Unfortunately, we can't way, control him. By the way, I'm Turkish, uh, but I'm English teacher, and that's why I'm watching you at the moment. Okay, great, fantastic. And how do I say your name? I'm sorry. How do I say your name? Tanju. 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 Yeah, Tanju. Excellent. Find a lot in Turkey. This name. Okay, great, great. Nice to have you with us. Okay, so we're going to work on our powers of description in a moment. I want you to look at two rooms, and remember, you have the PDF, so you can always download this and onto your computer. But I'm going to share my screen right now, and um, I'm trying to. Whoop, let me get it back on the screen. There you go. What do these places have in common? And how are they different? Uh, I'm going to have to attend you. I'm going to have to mute you, but you can turn your mic on when you're speaking because I'm getting echo from your room, from your, your window. So you're giving us the echo. I'm going to mute you, but when you're ready to speak, feel free to turn on your microphone again. Okay, so... Oh, now he disappeared. <laughs> you don't have to go away, Tenju. I was just muting you because I'm getting echo from you. Uh, okay, but we've got uh, Yaroslav, so we've got someone else. Hello, Yaroslav. Hi, um, hey. Okay, so don't forget to... You can download the PDF or just look on screen. First, to compare these places, I want you to tell me not only what they're like, how they're the same or different. I also want you to tell me some of the furniture that you see. Tell us a little bit about talked about beds, end tables or bedside tables, desk lamps or table lamps, bookshelves, sofas, armchairs. Remember Hazel said armchairs. These are all good things, but we've got a lot of other features in the picture. So before we compare them, I'd like someone to talk about what you actually see in the pictures. So Andrew, look at the picture on the left and tell yeah. me some furniture you see that we haven't described yet. Okay. Uh, we haven't described yet. Okay. Perhaps it's just a fireplace, yeah? Okay, oh. we've got a fireplace. And what's yeah. above the fireplace? If you're not sure, I'll help you out. What's above the fireplace? And by the way, anyone in the room can participate. I'm talking to Andrew, but if but uh, you can help him out. Okay. So what's above the fireplace, Andrew? Is, is there what is no fire, or, or it's not working? I'm not sure because it's it. There's no it's fire. A small picture. Yes, yeah, there's no fire. And, and and what's above the fireplace? What's above? Uh, no. Yeah. I'm I'm not sure how it's called, but some shelves here. Yeah? Right, right, right. So those shelves, does anyone know what those are called? The shelves that you put above a fireplace where you can put trophies and you can put pictures. Does anyone know what that's called? Unfortunately, I don't remember. Can anyone help Andrew out? What's that called? The shelf above the fireplace is called? It begins with an M? Anyone, anyone? You can also write it in the chat box, by the way. Anyone, anyone, anyone? Going once, going twice. The word is <laughs> the mantle. The mantle. Mantle. Yeah, okay, so there's a mantle you. above the fireplace. Excellent. And yeah. anything else that's interesting in the picture, Andrew? Uh, um, uh, I would say about the picture number two. I can see it's a cluttered on the picture, yeah? Can I say like cluttered? Closet? Yeah, it's like uh, a lot of things uh, everywhere. You like throw them everywhere. Be a could be a closet. I, you mean the you mean where the doors are on the on the on the picture on the right? Those doors. One of them is tidy. The other one is untidy. Excellent. So that's one of the things we we're going to say. What do they have in common? How are they different? So one is tidy, and the other one is the opposite, untidy. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. F. A. Are you there? Yeah, I am here. I can hear you very well, Mr. Excellent. Uh, Mr. Tell me, tell me some some furniture in the picture on the right that we haven't discussed yet. So we've talked about the fireplace, the mantle, we've talked about sofas. Do you see anything on the right side that we haven't talked about in terms of furniture? Yeah, it, I think she hasn't got uh, uh, furniture. Uh, she has to buy uh, a wardrobe. 
you know, to put a, their... She needs a wardrobe, great. She doesn't have a wardrobe, right. Yes. Those, those doors look like they're doors, not a wardrobe or a closet. It could be, but... So she needs a wardrobe. What's the difference between a wardrobe and a closet, Efe? You know, a, a closet? You, you tell them closet? Yeah, what's the difference? Uh, you know, uh, if you uh, have got a wardrobe, you know, uh, you, I think you can uh, put your stuff, your uh, your dress, uh, your uh, clothes, clothes, your clothes, uh, more, uh, more than uh, the closet, you know, because a wardrobe is bigger than closet, I think. Okay, a wardrobe is bigger than a closet, absolutely. So probably you have more space. Probably have more space. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so Minnie, I want you to compare the two pictures, and I want you to use comparison uh, words that we can uh, comparative words. So the, we can always say bigger or smaller than, like in the chat window, for example. But we've got many other words to use comparison. So, for example, any word that shows a contrast. So okay. I'd like you to, let's start with tidy and untidy. And the, the, the contrast word you can use is whereas. Try it, and then you're going to add your own description to, to the picture, OK? OK. Um, I'm not sure about the using whereas, but I can Give it say, a try. I'll help you. OK. Left a room is. No, and uh, the right room is tighter, 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 tighter than right. Le uh, the right room. And Excellent. So the the room on the right. Let's say the room on the right is tidy. The room on the left is tidier than the room on the right. Right. The room on the left is tidier than the room on the right. Yes. Okay. Room on and the left. The um, room on the left. The is mess than Me Ramonda, messier messier than Ramonda right on excellent right okay and then Mini to use whereas you could say so that I'm going to take your sentence and I'm going to convert it using whereas um, so the room, uh, well, I could say, I could start off the sentence by saying, whereas the room on the left is pretty neat. Neat. What does neat mean? Opposite to mess. Opposite of messy, right. Whereas the room on the left is pretty neat, the room on the right is messy, or the room on the right is untidy. So whereas shows a contrast between the rooms. Whereas shows a contrast between the rooms. We've got plenty of other contrast words, but that's one we can use. That's one we can use. Um, so, uh, your name is not Wallabi, but I can't pronounce your name <laughs> because I have a very short memory. So I'm going to keep calling you Mr. Wallabi because that's what I can remember. That's what my, I can read. I'm saying my name again, Adanala. Adanala. Yes. Adanala. Uh, okay, Adanala. Um, I want you to compare the two pictures, and I want you to use whereas in the way that I did. Try it, and, and uh, see if you can compare it in a different way. You can talk about the decor, you can talk about the color, right? There's a lot of things you can talk about. First, I want to say this picture likes my room. Looks like. Looks yeah, like looks my like room. my rooms. On the right or left? <laughs> and right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the picture on the right looks like my room, yeah. Yeah. Then you have to finish it by comparing it to the one on the left. The one on the left, for example, the one on the left doesn't. Whereas the picture on the right looks like my room because it's messy. The one on the left. But it's uh, nice. Looks like nice picture because if you like your city. Um, how can I say? <laughs> messy, if you, but if you, it's very nice. Messy, but good. Because I love, I love my rooms. In <laughs> messy. We call that so messy, but good. We call that lived in. 
it has a lived-in feeling, or yeah. it has a lived-in look, right. because <laughs> it's real. It's not. It's not like a, it doesn't look like a picture, like out of a catalog. It looks like a real place. Excellent. Um, can I ask for, something? Go for it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Sorry, but um, whenever we use the whereas in a sentence, the second bar uh -huh. should be with negative. Well, it's just that you're you're contrasting, so it's always some kind of opposite. So yes, in some way, it's not necessarily negative, but just different in some way. It doesn't have to be negative. Uh, but but there, but you're comparing them, showing some kind of opposition. Uh, can we talk a bit about the decor? Remember, we defined the word decor earlier. So for, if you were just joining us, we talked a bit about, for example, Yaroslav, you joined us a little, a little late. We talked about decor, like the colors are muted or they're bright or vibrant. Muted or vibrant, right? We talked about the Turkish style. We don't know what that is yet. But there are other styles. And someone else, I think Ehla said minimal. Didn't you, Ehla? Minimal. No, you said I Turkish, said but you also Turkish. think I said minimal or minimalist. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll get to what that means in just a second. But let's talk to Yaroslav. Are you there, Yaroslav? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Excellent. Can you, can you tell us one or two pieces of furniture in the right picture that we haven't talked about yet? I can see some things that we haven't identified yet. Like, what's on the ceiling in the picture on the right? What's on the uh, ceiling? Do you recognize I, that? Uh, no, no, I don't understand what you say. On the ah. right pictures. Yeah, on the right side. Chandelier? A chandelier. Hmm. Yeah, there is chandelier on the ceiling. Not exactly and a chandelier. Right idea. <laughs> we don't call it a chandelier, we call it a lantern. 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 Because it's probably made of what? Of, sh of uh, seashells. <laughs> made from, perhaps it's made from some plastic or some paper, I'm not sure. I think it's made of, uh, seashells is a great answer, by the way. You should be a decorator. But I think, <laughs> I think it's made of paper. I think it's a Chinese lantern made of rice yeah. paper. Yes. I think. And, and, and Yaroslav, what do you see on the far right side of the picture behind the guitar? What do you see behind the guitar? Uh, it's a chair. And behind the chair, what is that thing? A bookshelf. And above the bookshelf? Yeah, yeah. Uh, above, uh, oh, I don't know what it is. Uh -oh. Some radio, yeah? It's radio, radio? Maybe. Yeah, it could be a radio. What else could it be? A radio, or what are some things that are like radios that are more modern that we use these CD days? Player. Okay, so it could be some kind of a player. Stereo. Yeah, stereo. yeah, that's what I wanted to get to, right? It could be a stereo. Let's go with stereo. For some reason, it's really hard for me to write in the chat window. It could be a stereo. In the old days, we said high five for high fidelity. High fidelity stereo or high fidelity record player or high, f high fidelity s system or we could just say an entertainment system and that could have different elements in it could have a CD player could have a blu-ray could have a lot of things that looks like I don't know maybe a CD player and the, because those could be CDs or there could be a bookshelf with a radio on top okay does anyone else want to... Uh, okay, one more thing before we leave this picture. Uh, what about the wallpaper on the right? In talk the right to me about the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> what about the wallpaper? Uh, look uh, look at, the wall, at the wallpaper. Actually, it needs replacing. How can I, how can I say? The, wall, the, wallpaper is, the wallpaper is peeling. Stealing. The wallpaper is peeling. It's coming off the wall. Right? So... Uh, and we've got some posters on the wall as well. We've got some posters. Let me see if there's anything else that we're missing. A we've got a, f a, a floor lamp, lamp right? Yes. We've got a um, coffee a table. Coffee okay. table, excellent. Coffee table. What's that in the corner with the red and green, uh, yellow? Sorry. What's that in the corner? Which corner? Right or left? Mm -hmm. Right. 
uh, on yeah, the it's right, here. on the left or right of the right picture, on the left side of the right picture. The messy, the messy room. The messy room, Near. the big yellow thing. You mean? Yeah, what's that? Left or on the right side? On the on the left side, right? Yeah. The left side. Left side right. on the um, yeah. That that is a giant Pac-Man. What does it mean? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you know the video game, the Pac-Man, the little yellow guy that eats things. No, no, I, I, I think that's supposed to be a, that's supposed to be a comfy chair. It's supposed to be a big comfortable chair, like a, like not a bean bag, but um, a big chair that's very soft that you can sit in, uh, that you sink into. We call those. It seems not be comfy chair. Comfy chair is not that kind of. I don't mean an armchair. I don't mean an armchair. I mean something more like, uh, you know, kind of like uh, like a beanbag is very soft, and when you sit into it, you sink down. I think that's what it is. Okay. I'm not sure. I didn't draw the picture. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, this isn't my room. This belongs to Adenala. Ad Aden Aden <laughs> What? I forgot his name already. Okay. You're kidding him, oh. yeah? No, no, I, I'm going to have to watch the video again to get your name right because I have a very short memory. Um, before we leave this picture, I want, I want to talk about where things are located because at the end of this class, you're going to give us a virtual tour of your home. You've got to tell us where things are. So, for example, um, I'm going to call on people randomly. I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm going to call on... See who haven't we spoken to yet? Okay, so let's start with. Uh, by the way, I'm hearing my voice, so make sure you turn off the verbling window. Okay, turn off the verbling window because I'm hearing my voice. Okay, yes, we had to mute you temporarily, but we'll get it back on. Mr. Tulio, are you there? Hello, Mr. Tulio. Is your microphone on? Hey. Where are you from, Tulio? I'm from Brazil. Hi, bem-vindo a la, Tulio. Muito obrigado. <laughs> Tulio, look at the picture on the left and tell me where is the where is the um, let's call that a, let's call that a coffee table. Where is the coffee table? The coffee table is in the right of the sofa. Okay, great. So, uh, so let's let's call that to the right of. Look in the chat window. It's to the right of the sofa. Mm -hmm. Let's work on some of these prepositions. It's to the right of the sofa. And where is, I know you weren't here, but where is the mantel place? Let's see if you know this one. Where is the mantel place in the room? Oh, I don't know. What, what is a mantel place? Help him out. What's a mantel place? Yeah. Come kitchen, on, team. Kitchen above, above the fireplace? Correct. Oh, it's above the fireplace. Yeah, it's the mantle shelf, place is above the fireplace. So, Tulio, it's a shelf where you put pictures and stuff above the fireplace. So we've got to the right of, and we've got above. Okay, Tulio, I want you to pick pick an object, okay? And I want you to tell us where it is, but don't tell us what the object is. Just say, for example, if, if I was picking the, the mantle place, I would say, this is above the fireplace, and we'd all say, oh, the mantle place. Tulio, pick an object for us and tell us where it is, but not what it is. Okay? Uh, it's right in front of the guy sitting on the sofa. Okay, right in front of the guy on the sofa. It's right in front of the guy on the sofa. Andrew, what is it? What do you think it is? It's right in front of the guy on the sofa. Uh, I suppose it's a coffee table. Is, no. that, is that right, Tulio? No. No? no. So, uh -oh. Sorry, say again. <laughs> it's right in front of the guy uh, on the sofa. It's right in front of the guy on the sofa. Perhaps it's some, some bottle or some, some vase of, of flowers or some recorder. Give I'm him another sure. clue, Tulio. Perhaps, Tulio, perhaps, he, perhaps he's it's not sure. a fireplace. Perhaps it's just a fireplace. I'm not sure. Is the fireplace in front of the guy on the sofa? No, it's not. not. It's to the right. To, to the, the right. right. Exactly. Yes, yes. It's to the right of the guy on the sofa. So it's not that. Tulio, give us another clue. Um, it's on the floor. It's on the floor in front of the guy on the sofa. 
Ah, in front of the in front of the guy on the sofa. Mm. It's mm. Sounds, I'm not sure it's on TV, yeah. Or, there is a <laughs> <laughs> or some, or it's some radio. Yeah, or radio. Radio. Is that right, Tulio? Yeah, it's that. It's that. Right. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was gonna be something else. Andrew, pick yeah. an object on the right side. Tell us where it is, but not what it is. Let's see if we can guess. Okay, Andrew. Okay. Um, th there is something between between a man and the women that's on the floor. Oh, on the, you're on the left side. Okay, you're on the left. left picture still. Okay, so say again. It's between the man and the women, and the man and the woman, right? Yes. Bruno, what is it between the man and the woman? What is it? It, it is a cup of wine. It's a, not a cup of wine because <laughs> wine is not put in cups. Bruno, you're thinking in Portuguese. How do we say vidro? Uh, a glass of wine. It's a glass of wine. All right, yeah. <laughs> is that right, Andrew? Yes, it's some glass, perhaps not yeah. just wine. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Is there Bruno. Any blue water? No water? Is there uh, any blue wine? I don't think so. There is blue <laughs> wine in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it matches the decor. There's blue wine in this picture. Okay, last one, Bruno. Pick a pick an object in the right side picture. Okay. Tell us where it is, but not what it is. Okay. Um. Uh, um, it is above the bookcase. It is above the bookcase. Hmm. The bookcase, yeah. It is above the bookcase. Who wants it? Who wants this one? Above the bookcase. A stereo. Was that you, Ethla? Yes. The stereo is... Okay, that, Bruno, you made that way too easy. Is she right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's right. Ethla, yeah, yeah. pick another yeah. one in the picture on the right. Tell us where, but not what. Okay, you mean the missing room, right? In the in the, the messy mess, room, right? In the messy room. Yes. Okay. Um, what has some clothes getting out? Or, um, it has some clothes. See. Yeah, out of it. Okay, and tell us where it is using prepositions. Above, below, to the right, to the yeah. left, behind. It's on the floor. It's um, the bottom okay. of the picture. Okay, it's in the bottom of the picture, but let's talk about it in terms of 3D space of the room. It's on the floor. Because that's where the, the prepositions, right. that's where you really Yeah, room. it's on the right. On the right, or to the right of what? To the right of the girl, um, or to the left of the no, girl, to or... the right of some cage or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Because but it's case. on the floor, right? Yes. It's on the yeah, floor. Yeah, it's a suitcase. It's suitcase. a suitcase. Yeah. Suitcase. Yes. Who said suitcase? suitcase? Me. Who's me? Yeah. <laughs> Hazel. 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 Hazel said suitcase. Yes. Is she right? Is Yay. it the suitcase? Yes. Yay. Yay. Yay, Hazel! Yay! Uh, Diego, are you there? Hello, Diego? Diego's not speaking to us. Okay. Uh, okay, listen, we're gonna... I wanna... We're gonna... We, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna jump ahead. I'm gonna jump ahead to a speaking activity here. So on your screen, in just a moment, you're gonna see... Oh, this is a little hard to see. I don't know if I can make that smaller. Okay, we're on the six of seven slides now, the sixth of seven. And it says, take us on a virtual tour of your premises. Premises means space. Premises means the space that you're in. <clears throat> See if we can follow by giving directions to a place. Okay, I'd like to change this just a little bit. I'd like you to talk about what you would put in the space and where you would put it. Um, so, for example, in the picture, let me see if I can make the picture a little bit let me see if I can make it fit on the screen. Hold on a second. I don't know if I can do it. I can't really change it. But I'm going to just I'm going to describe the space. So for example, um, I'm going to I'm going to try to do two things at once. I'm going to give you a little tour of the space, and then I'm going to tell you what I would put in my room. Not what is there in the picture, but what I would put there. And then I want you to try to give us a description about how you would like to decorate your room, what kind of furniture, 
mm -hmm. or describe it for us. So, for example, when you when you when you walk into my house, you can see the picture. You can see the diagram. When you walk into my house, you have to come in through <clears throat> the ground floor, and I've got a bedroom and an office. And then if you go upstairs, there's a second floor where I have my workroom. And you can see I have a I have a I don't have a desk, but I have kind of a workbench, which has got two horses. It's a piece of wood held up by two horses. That's my workbench, but it's a little bigger than a desk. And then behind me, I have a, a little radio and I have a set of shelves to to my left. But if I could decorate it any way I'd like, it would obviously be decorated in the Turkish style with muted colors and a Chinese lantern. What do you think? <laughs> it looks lovely. <laughs> Excellent. Now, do you know Turkish style? <laughs> I don't know what the Turkish style is. Ekla, what is the Turkish style? I have posted some pictures on the... Uh... I can. It's really simple style, not not too many colors, and it's relaxing. Okay, so can it's I kind of. Can I one more time, Ahla, because I don't know. Yeah, post okay, post I the link for us. Okay. In the meantime, I'd like someone to give us a little tour of their space, and I'd also like you I'd like you like you to say what you would put in your room if you could decorate it in any way that you wanted. So first, give us a little tour like I did. Just talk us through the space, where things are, to the left, above, below, on the right, behind, whatever you want to say, and I'll help you. And then talk about what you would put, tell us what you would put in the space if you could decorate it any way you like. <clears throat> so, Andrew, wh why don't you start us off? So when I enter my house, I have to walk to the living room, then go upstairs, and then enter my room, for example. Mm -hmm. you need to what do you think, Andrew? Okay. Uh, when I go uh, in my building apartment, uh, um, I go I go to lift, yeah, and I uh, lift on the seventh floor. Yeah, can I say like that? Yeah. I, so I I live on the I, I live on the seventh floor. So yeah. how do you get upstairs? Do you have do you have to go up seven flights of stairs to get up there, or do you have an elevator? Uh, usually, I use elevator. Ah, if you don't have an elevator, we call that a walk up. A walk if up. If you only yeah. have stairs, we call that a walk up. Uh -huh. So you're okay. lucky. You have an elevator. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh... so, give us a little tour to get us from the the ground floor into I, your I, room. I approach to I approach to my. Uh, Okay, I'm pro I I approach to my uh, front room and uh, enter to my room. Uh, I go to the corridor, yeah, like a, can I say like corridor? Corridor or hall? Hall, yes. The hall, the hall. Yeah. Actually, we should say hall or hallway, not corridor. Yeah. Hall or hallway sounds a little bit more natural for us. Okay. Corridor sounds okay. a little bit. Uh, I don't know. It's it, We don't use it in a house too much. Okay. Uh, I go through the corridor and uh, um, at the end the hallway. <laughs> hall hallway. I I yes. go through the hallway and uh, at the end of the hallway I uh, turn right and uh, I go to the kitchen. I through to the kitchen. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. And uh, get us to your room. And once we're in it, once we're in the room. Tell us how you would decorate so it the kitchen, if you had your choice. I go to the my um, if I had a choice. I know perhaps I would. So have, let, let me I see. Let, let, let's stop for a second, Andrew. Wait, 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 Andrew. One second. So when you get out of the elevator, you go down the hall, and we get to your front door. We come in. There's another hall, and at the end of the hall is the kitchen, right? Did I get that right? The, the same hall. Uh, oh, same hall. Yeah, we have to we have to through the same hall and can I say like turn turn the right and it will be kitchen and uh, on the left side uh, I've got a not uh, can I say like living room yeah yeah living room great L living room living room okay. kitchen 
In other words, opposite the kitchen. Opposite the kitchen opposite is the living the room. Kitchen. Yes, Good. opposite the kitchen there is a living room, yeah? Excellent. Can you hear me? Yeah, keep good. going. Get us to your room now. Okay. Uh, sh sh Andrew, get us to your room. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. We're running out of time. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> um, should I describe the furniture in my living room? Tell us oh. how you would decorate the room if you had your choice. What okay. Would you like to put in? Okay. If 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 I had my choice, I would put a big luxurious laser sofa. Yeah. Wow. Laser. Yeah. yeah. Laser, his his yeah. sofa shoots laser beams. <laughs> he's got he's got a Star Wars sofa that shoots <laughs> laser beams. Excellent. I like it, Andrew. I like yeah? it. Yeah. Do you like do you like white laser? Yeah. Some sofas with like it is white laser. Yeah, it it looks luxury. Yeah. Excellent. So so by the way, ever the pronunciation is not is leather. Leather. Eh, eh. Yeah. There you go. Leather. Leather. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Good. Uh, Thank you. I think we have time for one more. So you're going to give us a brief description. Get us from the front door to the room using the prepositions we talked about and I want you to describe how you would decorate your room if you had if you could do it in any way you wanted so let's get someone else before we run out of time one more person who wants to go I want to go teacher <laughs> who wants to go <laughs> hello do I have to call on someone really <laughs> hello hello Anyone? Uh, I am imagining my dream house. That's it takes some time. Okay. Well, we got two minutes. We got two minutes. Okay. I will try. Go for it. Um, my condo is one bedroom apartment. If you enter the door, and uh, it's a small hall, and then living room, and living room included kitchen, the open kitchen. And, and plus one bedroom and uh, I have big window that is my room is bright lighter and I have a comfortable sofa big book uh, a big uh, book shelf um, across the sofa and next to um, bookshelf um, bookshelf next to bookshelf and um, is um, the entertainment